right, everybody, thanks for joining me this week for this week's short jazz piano practice idea. So today's concept is a very short and easy concept that has a lot of power to it. And so what we're gonna be practicing this week is uh, moving our nines to become flat nines on dominant chords. So the idea is very simple. Here we have a song like Solar. I play my G minor seven here. Then I turn it to a C13 or a C7, and then I move the nine down to a flat nine for the second portion of that chord. And I'm doing this on all the dominant, I practice doing this on all the dominant chords so that I can try to harness the concept of a nine becoming a flat nine and then maybe becoming a five on a major chord. And that kind of builds in a little bit of inside movement, a little bit of counterpoint and a little bit of counter melody. And like I've said many times before, anytime we can accidentally play counter melody, that's good. So let's go through uh, Solar here really quick. So here's G minor, C7 to C7 flat nine to F major nine. Same thing here on F minor. B flat nine, B flat seven, flat nine. There it is again with the A flat seven. Now my hands got in the way, that's all right. You just make it work out. Now this is a G7 flat nine normally, okay? So now I might go again. Now, I might try making sharp nines become flat nines. Uh, maybe not here. I'll just do the nine to flat nine thing there. Okay, now what's really interesting is that, first of all, that sounds good. I don't have to replay every note when I do that. I can just voice lead down with my nine if I want to just uh, sustain the other notes of the chord. And that kind of brings out that voice a little bit more than by replaying the, uh, replaying the chord over and over again. Um, so, but the, the other benefit, the other place where this sounds really good is when you then use it while you're improvising. So I start out, here's my two five. I start out with a C mixolydian but then I can change it to C half hold diminished. Here's F minor, B flat seven, B flat half hold. So it gives me new options when I'm improvising the right hand as well that help me maybe get out when I'm really tired of playing just a standard um, tune, you know, it's just playing in the key on a 2-5, especially on a song like Solar, where really Solar is five two five ones, uh, in it, um, and so I might be trying to get some different sounds happening. So anyways, that's this week's practice idea. So think about that this week, see if you can work it into your playing and see if you can work it into your, some of your tunes, and we'll see you next week. All right, happy practicing.